Tao Lin, the author of Taipei. Thanks for being on the Moolah Files. Thanks for having me. So you've gone to all sorts of extremes to avoid getting a real job and devote yourself to your art. Talk about what you like to sell on the internet and how it sustained your, your writing uh, itch. Well, I haven't been completely successful in avoiding a real job. I've had part-time jobs. I graduated in, from NYU in 2005, and I had part-time jobs in libraries and restaurants till 2008. But in 2008, I did this thing for my second novel. I wrote a blog post saying I was going to sell 60% of the U.S. royalties to people for $2,000 per 10%. And then someone, a classmate of mine, like linked it on the New York Times Freakonomics blog. And from there, like a, a whole bunch of places linked it. So and, uh, it's basically crowdsourcing uh, the publishing. Instead of an advance, you're getting, you're allowing people to have equity in your novel sales. Yeah, it's almost like Kickstarter, but but only six people. And they, I outlined like they would get ten percent of just the U.S. royalties, and they'll get paid every six months when I got my royalty checks every six months. So I made. I only made 12000 off that, which is like not much compared to like most authors. But it lasted me long enough to, to finish the book. And then I ran out of money again. Because <laughs> my royalty checks, probably like four to $6,000 every six months. Most of it's from foreign sales. So I don't make enough money without having to do other stuff. For example, I sell s some stuff on eBay, like drafts of whatever book I'm currently working on, or drawings. So this is the new vision of the struggling artist, someone who leverages the power of the internet to, to make ends meet. But you actually have... Um, become an established writer and Taipei, your third novel, uh, allowed you to get a $50,000 advance from Vintage. Um, do you think that that is um, recognition of how established you've become, that you no longer have to come up with a crowdsourcing scheme? With this book, I got an agent and he sent my 20 pages and an outline out to, to like, 10 editors or something and four were interested so I met with them and then they like made their offers and my agent was like no that's not enough and it finally ended up with 50,000 with vintage so yeah if I hadn't had my other five books out this would not have worked you actually um, still are running out of money. You travel a lot. You spend a lot. Uh, you have come up with some outlandish schemes beyond the selling of, of drafts and drawings. Uh, talk about making your ecstasy movies, which have gone for sale. Okay. Well, I started with my wife, a film company called MDMA Films. The idea was that we, one night we were watching YouTube videos of people answering 10 questions like sober and then 10 questions on like LSD and they would like splice it together and they're, they each had like 70,000 views or something but there are only like three of them on YouTube so we thought we wanted to make something like that but we weren't like we're both shy people so we <laughs> so like sober and on whatever on MDMA we were like the same. So it wasn't worth putting on YouTube. But we took that idea and and actually sort of got away from the drug thing and we just made we made a documentary on a teenager in in Las Vegas. She's a fashion blogger, BB Zeva. And that didn't have anything to do with drugs. But the media of course were wants to focus on the drugs. <laughs> so they're like, Talon is now selling videos of himself on XC to, to whatever, whatever. I think it was L, L Magazine. 
Tao Lin, author of Taipei, out uh, June 4th. Thanks so much for being on The Mula Files. Thanks for having me.